Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I know it's been kind of on and off with me making episodes, but uh, this one should be a good one. So recently I've kind of noticed that a lot of my SPS are not doing all that well. The colors are getting a little faded, um, and I really wasn't sure what was going on, but I finally realized that I do actually have red bugs in this tank. So I have never actually had uh, red bugs before. I have had the flatworms, but uh, that's not the issue for this time around. Uh, uh, basically kind of what happened was I started seeing this guy right here fade and I wasn't sure what was going on I was looking at it I was blowing at it and no flatworms came off uh, and then I started noticing some other ones also started to fade as well uh, and then upon closer inspection uh, I realized that I have red bugs unfortunately so we're gonna kind of go through the process of uh, identifying it kind of some things that I notice and uh, we'll see if we can go ahead and get this guy treated so one of the first things that I did notice about red bugs is they are a little bit picky um, they went after this one first and they're slowly spreading outwards uh, but it's not like it's concentrated at this one little SPS frag that died um, I do know they are in you know coral that are across on the other side of the tank as well uh, but they are being a little bit picky uh, I did also notice that some coral are more resilient than others uh, even though this one died the ones next to it which are absolutely infested um, really showed no symptoms of any kind uh, whether it's color or anything else now a lot of people mentioned that also uh, red bugs kind of look like fleas they are a lot smaller than fleas um, they they're just basically un, you know, seeable pretty much to like the naked eye. You really have to look close and even then um, you can barely see that they're there. So it did take me a while to figure out I did have red bugs and unfortunately, as you can see, I did lose one coral. Luckily, it's pretty much only this guy so far and it hasn't affected all the you know other coral in the tank too much. Now, one option if you don't have a lot of sticks is you can actually dip it in a revive. Um, the stick that actually died right there, I did cut the tip off and then we went ahead and uh, I dipped the remaining kind of head that was on top of it and I was able to get pretty much all the red bugs off um, just looking at it from here even though you guys can't see it all that well uh, I did manage to get most of them off I don't see actually more than like one or two even on here like it's not completely infested anymore which is great so if you for example just have a uh, smaller tank with just a couple SPS uh, using revive might actually be an option instead of treating the entire tank like I'm going to have to now the medicine of choice uh, for treating red bugs is actually interceptor which is a dog medicine and uh, What's interesting about this is you have to have a prescription to buy this. Uh, I went to two of my local fish stores, no, not fish stores, my local vets that treat my animals, my dogs and my cats. Uh, neither of them would prescribe this to me, so I actually had to order this from Canada. Um, it wasn't expensive, like $35, which is cheaper than, you know, a lot of the coral these days. Um, but yeah, it did take two weeks to get here. If you, for example, tr are planning on going SPS heavy for the first time, like I am, uh, maybe just buy one of these now, because I feel like red bugs is something that's gonna happen frequently in like the near future. So having a box of this, you know, just laying around is probably gonna be pretty helpful. Now, one thing a lot of people did mention is that uh, for the red bugs, when you put the interceptor in the tank, it is not only going to kill the red bugs, but it is also going to kill all your inverts. Uh, besides the occasional snail that I have here, I don't have any hermit crabs. I have no shrimp. Uh, I do have the one acro crab that is sitting right there. Uh, but some people say it's hit or miss whether it'll die or not. But I really hope it doesn't because it's such a cool little guy. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, you know, treat the tank anyways. But like I said, hopefully the little guy survives. And then, of course, it is going to wipe out all the pods in the tank as well, for the most part. Um, which is fine, because I can actually get uh, pods locally. Like the actual, you know, ones that 
live in your aquarium. Uh, so that's not a big deal. I can always just stop by the local fish store, buy a you know bottle or two, and just replenish the tank. So that I'm actually pretty okay with. Okay, and as far as the pill goes, uh, they come in a set of three for this one. Most people with big reefs use the large dog one, uh, and they kind of already kind of specified how to measure it out. Uh, so the one pill for me is going to be good uh, for two doses. So basically I'll cut it in half, uh, use the knife, we're going to cut it into a bunch of little pieces and then dissolve this guy in water. And then uh, that's one good, that's good for two doses, so one this week, uh, then we'll do a water change after, and then one next week and we'll do another water change after. Now this does have flavor, uh, but a lot of people say that it's okay. So uh, yeah, we'll go, go ahead and cut it up anyways. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get it melted in some water. Okay, so you can see here, we have it chopped up pretty fine. Um, I do have my boiling water, uh, boiling RODI water, and then just a chopstick. Uh, I'm gonna use the blunt end, just kind of like mash it. We'll just give it a shot. I'm not sure that's how people do it. But uh, yeah, uh, it's already chopped up. As always, make sure that you put away the rest uh, so you don't poison anything else. I'm gonna pour a little of that boiling water in there. So we'll do just a little bit for right now and then go ahead and mash it up. All right, there we go. Um, it mixed actually pretty darn well. Uh, a lot better than people on the review said. So yeah, I have that guy sitting right there. Let it cool down a little bit and then uh, we'll try to get it into the tank. Okay, and now as we get the tank ready to pour the Prazzi, uh, we wanna do a couple things. One, make sure all the flow is on, obviously, so it gets good circulation. Uh, some people did mention taking out the skimmer cup uh, because there is Prazzi uh, in there as well. So, I mean, either way, it would have probably overflowed, but uh, that's a good way to mix the chemical into the skimmer body as well in case there's any bugs in there to keep them from coming back. Also, it'll probably help aerate the tank a little bit. Uh, I'm probably gonna pour it straight into the skimmer right here and then uh, just let it mix a little bit and then it'll go into the return and obviously cover the whole tank. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. Uh, they mention either keeping it for six hours up to 12. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do probably the six or seven right now, see how it's going. Uh, I do have carbon and a uh, water change ready for when you know this is all finished. But uh, yeah, I'll pour it in the tank. We'll be back soon and we'll see how it goes. All right, so it is about the morning after. So it's been about uh, 12, 13 hours. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I did have some losses with a few hermit crabs here and there. I didn't even know I had that many hermit crabs to be honest, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, I just never see them. So, well, sorry, unfortunately. But um, the little crab that I have also didn't make it. He's just kind of laying there now. He would have been impossible to get anyways. And then as far as the black bugs, uh, I don't see them on any of the coral. Uh, they mostly infested this one next and then that one as well. And I don't see any signs. Now, one thing that is a little concerning to me is that the dead skeleton that I have has a bunch of black dots now. So I'm hoping that's not like a black bug issue because I hear online that that's actually a little bit more difficult um, to cure. But uh, <clears throat> besides that, you know, dosing the dog, the beef flavored interceptor pill, um, everything else seems okay. There really isn't anything that seems super mad besides the inverts. So, you know, all the fish are in good condition. Um, yeah, everything else looks fine. I am just going to do a water change right now here on the side. We're going to drop a bag of carbon and, uh, you know, I'll look at it again. Chances are next week I'll repeat it one more time over the weekend. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. But, uh, 
overall, I would say it's a pretty good success. I'm not going to I'm not going to refill my cleanup crew for now. I'll wait till after that final dose. But uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys for watching as usual. This is a fun little diversion from the uh, path in you know reefing. But uh, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.